Welcome to China Aviation News. Here is CN Press. I'm Wu Jianfei. At first, let's look at the news of the week. As the production base of China's large aircraft engines, Avic Shenyang Liming Air Engine Grab Corp is the birthplace of the first jet aircraft engine of new China. Over the years, Avic Liming has constantly challenged the world's advanced power technology and the pioneered the development of the gas turbine industry at home. Currently, Liming gas turbine products have become serialized, including QD70, QD128, QD168, QD185, and RO110 heavy gas turbine. After several years' efforts, Liming turbines have made great breakthrough and successfully gone to domestic and foreign markets. Rumors that Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China Limited developed about 300-seat wide-body aircraft has caused a great clamor. On October the 11th, Cormac also revealed that this project was in the argument phase, not approved yet. New models should go through rigorous augmentation with research details to be determined. However, Cormac intended plans to develop domestic wide-body aircraft in 2025. AC-312 series helicopters are the new generation Fulton twin-engine multi-purpose helicopters developed by Avig Hafei to meet the demands of international and domestic markets in the 21st century. Currently, AC-312 series have become the domestic helicopters with the highest share of domestic market, with over 50 exported to more than 10 countries and regions, like Mali, Kenya, and Zambia. Future market intention being about 90 aircrafts. In the local time, 2 a.m. on October the 6th, a seven-seat small airplane of Northern Marine Islands Star Marines flying from Tinian to Saipan crashed shortly after takeoff. Six passengers, except the pilots, were Chinese citizens, of which two were killed and other four injured. China Eastern Cargo Airlines reselected the transformation after recognizing its freight and logistics sectors and developing unity between heaven and earth. This time, Eastern Logistics Company hopes to drive direct customer sales through the e-commerce platform so as to provide basic resources for self-support delivery departments and increase direct customer supply for main aviation business. Hainan Airlines will hold a large exhibition tour for Boeing 787 Dreamliner since October the 9th, with the first stop in Beijing. Recently, China's first set of aircraft stop system, Aircraft Stop System Engineering of Tengchong Airport successfully passed industrial check, which marked China's self-developed aircraft stop system was officially put into use. At 10 a.m. on October the 9th, the delivery ceremony for the first Polar Adventure 32A11BC helicopter of the Chinese and Russian government debt project was held in front of the hangar of Qingdao, China Eastern Airlines. On October the 11th, Cormac signed with American Rockwell Calling and CTC Avionics, the communications and navigation system contract of the C919 project. Now let's have a short break. Welcome back. Recently, China Southern Airlines Xinjiang branch successfully completed verification test flights of various subjects of the RMP AR Precision Navigation Program in the airspace of Xinjiang Kanasi Airport, which are the first public RMP AR program verification test flight of Xinjiang area. Marked the implementation of RMP AR by Kanasi Airport could be expected soon. It is a new generation. 737 aircraft delivered by Boeing as the 4000s that carried out the verification test flight, which is also the first RMP AR project that Boeing cooperated with China Southern Airlines. Recently, it is learned from 2014 pilot recruit mobilization meeting of China Civil Aviation Flight University that due to continued upward trend of civil aviation development, the orders of the pilot training program directed by airlines to flight university increased significantly over last year. It is estimated that the total number of the pilots recruited by civil aviation 
will remain above 4,000 in 2013. Due to factors like training ability and school class capability, Flight University plans to recruit 2,400 pilots, exceeding 60% of the national total percentage. On October the 2nd, Henan Meijing Group, purchasing the general aircraft manufacturer Muni Airlines, has been officially approved by CFIUS, accepted to complete delivery in November this year. This is the first time for Chinese private enterprises to successfully complete cross-border purchase of U.S. famous aircraft manufacturer and also a major initiative for Henan Enterprise to move toward general aviation and seek diversified development. Recently, the expired flight mail incident of Air China has triggered great concern. The diner provided on the CA-1268 flight included beef pancakes, whose package bags are printed with 13 September 29th in the first line and 13 October 2nd in the second line, having expired four days. Passengers reflected to the stairwell and tried to prevent giving out, yet only to be rejected, which eventually caused the passengers diarrhea and vomiting. Airplane food has always been criticized, not to mention its taste, just the security events, like those found in flight meals, and expired food often hit headlines. Meals in the air are not so delicious, and it is less likely to have completely free meals presented in front of you. There are two reasons. Firstly, from the point of income sources, most of the airline market income is from tickets. Even the so-called free issue meal are paid by passengers in advance in their tickets. In the case of constant income, commercial airlines will certainly try to reduce costs in order to get higher profits. Pancake in bank can be broadly understood as the saving behavior of airlines. But in the face of the economic, Acubus passengers cannot continue to be embarrassed in the fantasy of the free food. Secondly, flight class dining take passenger speech rights as commercially products. The cloud galaxy advised by a drylings can be only be tested in the first class or business class carbon. The ticket price difference of hundreds of yuan even actually leads to the fact that even getting low-grade food, the economy class passengers have to keep silent because the so-called free meals, losing their speech right and actually stand on the weak side, contrary to the airlines and the first-class passengers. Here is the CN Press. See you next time.